Uh, hello everyone. Welcome to another Minecraft mod review. Today I'll be removing the Naruto mod by Matthew for 1.7.10. Now, first off, when you join the game, your inventory will have nothing but a chakra nature paper. When you now right click this not in the chakra nature paper, you will be given a clan and affiliation. One of the five one to three of the five nature releases, and all three can tie in medical learners. When you press X by default, it will show you your clan, your nature releases, and if you have any Kekka Genkai. First off, Ninjutsu. This is probably one of the most important stats as it gives you more chakra and can boost the damage of some jutsus. Taijutsu is another one of those very important stats, as it is your, of course, Taijutsu, which is how hard you punch. The higher Taijutsu, the higher your hit chance will be with your fist, and how much damage your fist will do. And allow you to do more Taijutsu moves and open more gates the more Taijutsu you have. Genjutsu is what it sounds like. Genjutsu. So, if you have something like a Sharingan, Kurama Clan, or any other moves that use um, Genjutsu, it will use this stat. Kenjutsu is your sword. As you saw, the Kenjutsu Learner will give you Kenjutsu moves, which are for swords. Also, the thing I forgot to go over with Tai is, whenever you hold just your fist, you will have a dodge chance with NPCs, and you also take reduced damage. Same with Ken. The higher your Ken, when you hold the sword, the less damage you take, and you can also dodge attacks. But you also will not hit anything if your Ken is low. So you have to increase your Ken to be able to hit things with your sword. Shuriken Jutsu, what it sounds like, for things like Shuriken and Kunai, if you don't have enough Shuriken, you cannot throw a Kunai or use a Shuriken or Kunai. Summoning is what it sounds like. Summon. Ken Jutsu is for Forbidden Jutsu. Or Tail Beast. Both of those are affected by that. Senjutsu is Curse Mark and Sage Mode. Medical is your health. Speed is what it sounds like. Uh, speed. I will go. Over, I will make another video going over all the moves in all five nature releases and all three in Med, Ken, and Tai. Now, the way you're going to get Kekagenkai is World Mysteries and DNA. Do you... You get a DNA by killing things like mobs. And bosses have a higher chance, like the Wither. Now, World Mysteries, you will get from Dungeon Loot. Things like Sand Temple, Underground Mob Spawners, or Jungle Temples, that kind of stuff. This will increase your intelligence. I recommend you don't try to identify DNA. Unless you have a hundred intelligence, or it will most likely fail. As at a hundred intelligence, you only have a seventy percent chance of identifying a DNA. Now the Sharingan, which is what a lot of people obviously want. There are two ways of getting the Sharingan. Of course, being born of the Uchiha clan, or getting from DNA, which is very low chance. Now, when you get the Sharingan, you have to wait 2 to 24 hours to simply awaken the one Tomo Sharingan. Um, when you get the Sharingan, you will get a skill learner. You cannot use this until your Sharingan awakens. These are 24 hours in game, so 2 to 24 hours. Anytime between that, you have a chance of awakening it. And the second you unlock the third Tomo in the skill learner, you will get this a mysterious sealed letter. And once you get this, you simply right-click it, and you will get the Mangekyo Sharingan. Now, the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan is a lot harder. Because you have to wait between two and upwards of 100 hours just to unlock it. And even then, it can take longer for some people. Now, when you get the Mangekyo Sharingan, you will get two abilities. Either Sukiyomi, Amaterasu, or Kaomori. There is no way to get a different ability. Once you get your Mangekyo Blade, you are stuck with that. Same with the pattern of your eye. Tell Beast. To get a Tell Beast, you have to find a jungle temple, and there is a very small chance it will have this. 
a tail beast shark. And as I said before, you will need a hundred intelligence, or this could fail. And once you do that, it'll give you coordinates. And you're gonna want to go to those coordinates. There should be a tail beast there, and you're gonna fight and kill the tail beast. And once you do this whole update, and you will need also a hundred. Okay, uh, another thing I forgot. To implant, you are going to need 500 medical. Any lower, and there is a high chance to fail. Same with these, you are going to need 500 med, or there is a high chance of failing. Now, for the curse mark, you are going to want to find an Orochimaru, who can spawn inside of a swamp, temp uh, swamp biome at night. And all you want to do is simply find them, and then kill them. It will put them down at 5 health. Hold that item and right click it, and it will give you the stage one curse mark. Now, simply right click, uh, uh, you're gonna find another Orochimaru, kill it, and right click it, and you can get the stage two curse mark, as you can see. Now, this is a ninja trader. This is how you're gonna get your vital jutsu, such as Chidori, Rasengan. Multi shadow clone, shadow clone, that kind of stuff. As you can see, he wants gold Ryu for a rare jutsu learner. And when you use it, it'll give you one of these random. Blues are the commons, purples are the rare, and the red means it's super rare. He will use these Ryu. And these right you can get by killing mobs, and they will drop, and they can be crafted into each other like this. Now, as you can see, let me put it in. You will get a jutsu. As you see, I got summon rush, and if I leave, it will update soon. Yeah, see. Now this one isn't that good. What you want is a Iruka who is selling Chidori. If you find one selling Chidori, you want to get a name tag and shift right click it to name it. Because it is very important that you keep one of these if they have a Chidori, because Chidori is one of those powerful jutsus in this one. Because it scales off your Nen, and since your Nen can be infinite, the Chidori damage can be near infinite. Now, to get the Sage mode, you're going to want to make a sealed Sage scroll, which is 6 paper. A nether star, an inter pearl, and an unidentified DNA. Then you're going to want to find an Orochimaru, who can spawn in swamps, a Dryer, who spawns in the Mesa, and Tsunade, who spawns in the jungle. Tsunade will give you Slug Sage, Dryer will give you Toad, and Orochimaru will give you Snake. They're all virtually the same, it's just what you prefer. And once you find them, you will right click them with your Sage Girl. And a little message will pop up. But since I am creative, I cannot use this item. A little message will pop up. And then you want to kill them, put them on 5 HP, and then right click them with Sage Scroll again. This will update your Sage Scroll with coordinates, and you will have it will tell you exactly what to do from then on and so forth. Now, clothes slash weapons. These are two NPCs you will find around your world spawn randomly and this one will sell you weapons for Ryo and sometimes in this case for another thing the more you buy the more trades you will unlock and she so can have a certain amount of trades uh, I will show this right here we'll give her these and she'll give us a golden katana You'll get out. And boom. And yes, you can get the legendary mist weapons from there. Uh, this trader will trade you clothes. So you can also have a lot of clothes. And as you see, even though the item is broken, it still gives you the outfit. And you can get random pieces from these. See, I can keep buying them. And she will keep unlocking them. 
Uh, there's another trader who will sell you ramen. And that is about it. I will be releasing more videos on the moves of all the nature releases and the Thai moves, Kenjutsu moves, and medical moves. I will also be releasing a video on how to get the showering on without having to wait by uh, cheating. And that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment if you have any questions, and bye!